Yeah. Hey guys, Josh Davis, CPT. And today we'll continue our Getting Started series focusing on home exercise. Now, one of the many questions I've gotten asked over the years is, can I lose weight without going to the gym? And the good news is you can get the beach body you've always wanted from the comfort of your own living room. Now, keep in mind there are some restrictions and you'll never look like Arnold, but a great physique with an awesome set of abs is easily attainable without setting foot into a gym. So let's get started. Today, I wanna to cover a variety of exercises that we can do from the comfort of our living room. The only purchase you'll need for uh, home exercises is a resistance band or a set of them. They're pretty cheap, a set that ranges from 10 pounds to 50 pounds with all the requirements will only cost you roughly 25 bucks and this even includes a door attachment. I'll provide a link in the description to a set of bands on Amazon that you can take a look at. If you don't have anything sturdy enough in your house for our back exercises, then I'll definitely recommend the door attachment. So let's take a look at what our getting started full body home workout looks like. Hey everyone, so for our home workout today, we have 10 exercises total. Now we're gonna split these 10 exercises into two different groups, A and B. We're gonna do uh, round one of A exercises and then round two of B exercises. So let's get started. So for our first exercise in the A sequence, we're gonna do band or chair squats. Now you don't necessarily need the chair there, but I like it for proprioceptive purposes to help the mind and muscle connection. So let me show you how this goes. We're gonna start off by standing on the band and we're going to do a bicep curl up and then twist our palms to the outside. What this is gonna do is gonna add resistance to our squat going up. So from here, I'm gonna try and touch my butt to the chair. So we're gonna go down, butt to the chair, stand back up. Down, butt to the chair, stand back up. And we're gonna do roughly 12 to 15 reps here. Now the great thing about the resistance band is that if standing here normally is easy for you, what you can do is widen your feet or shorten the distance that the band has, and this will add a lot more tension as you do your squat. Our next exercise in the A sequence is a step back band lunge. Now what I like to do is wrap my resistance band around something that's sturdy, that'll give me some resistance as I step back. From here, we're gonna pull the band to 90 degrees and step back with our right leg first into a 90 degree angle. Come back up, other leg. And you're gonna do about 12 to 15 reps each leg. All right, for our third exercise in the A sequence, we're gonna do a single arm resistance band rows. Now, I, I personally love these. So for the setup, we're gonna go ahead and just take one handle, set the other one on the ground, and you're gonna step on it with uh, your front leg. Your back leg or the same leg of the arm that you're grabbing the resistance band with is the one that's gonna be stepping back. So you're gonna make sure you have some nice tension, a short distance between your foot and the band, what you're gonna do is get down, palm face out, row up nice and high. So you're gonna come down, row up nice and high with that elbow out. All right, for our next exercise, we're gonna do arm circles. As you saw, you're gonna have one foot in the center of the band. It really doesn't matter which foot, your left or right. But from here, we're gonna do arm circles. So we're gonna bring our arms straight out, try and keep them as straight as possible. And then we're gonna do big circle in. Two, three. And then once you get about eight to 10 here, you can go the reverse direction. One, two, one, three. For our next, our chest exercise, these are gonna be resistance bands, chest presses. So you're gonna wrap your band around something sturdy you're gonna go one foot forward, one foot back, almost in a lunge position. From here, you're going to bring your palms forward together at the front, almost like a push-up. We'll come back, push them forward, bring them together. Back, forward and together. So that finishes off the A sequence. Now let's get started on the B sequence. For the B, 
On our legs, we're gonna start off with monster walks. Now you're gonna get down in a squat or crouch position, and we're gonna go three steps forward, three steps back. I'll show you what that looks like. We're gonna go one, two, three, and then back. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then back. One, two, three. So for the next exercise in our B sequence, we're gonna be doing wall sits. Now I'm sure you've all seen these before, or at least heard of them. And uh, we'll go ahead, get our back flat against the wall, and you're gonna come down to 90 degrees and just sit here for 45 seconds. Now, if you don't like stationary holding, what I like to do is mix things up a little bit. I'll go above 90 for 15 seconds, at 90 for 15 seconds, and then drop down to below 90 for 15 seconds. All right, so for our next B chest exercise, we're gonna be doing pec flies. Uh, in A, we did pec presses, so this time we're gonna be doing pec flies. So same starting position, we're gonna uh, palms face forward out, and instead of coming back in a pressing position with our elbows bent uh, to 90 degrees, we're only gonna bend them a little bit, palms face in, we're gonna come back, stretch out the chest, bring them together at the top. Just like this. All right, so for our back exercise, we're gonna be in the same starting position as we were for our A sequence, but instead of our palm facing out as we row, our palm's gonna be faced in towards our body. I like to call these lawn mowers for obvious reasons, but you'll just go ahead and bring it up right next to your body. You're gonna be focused on bringing your palm to about your hip, right in here. For our last shoulder exercise, we're gonna be similar to what we were before in our standing position. Just put one foot on the band, it doesn't matter left or right. Your foot that's not on the band is gonna be behind you. Your palms are gonna be face out and you're gonna do an alternating shoulder press. So up, bring it back down, other side. Just like this. Nice. All right, hopefully you were able to get through the workout without too much trouble. You'll definitely be shedding some calories. Thanks for watching everybody. If you have any questions or found the video helpful, please leave a comment below. Have a joy-filled, blessed week, and we'll see you next time.